Welcome to the innovation and entrepreneurship uh, part about the canvas. My name is Jan Frick. I'm a professor at the University of Stavanger the Business School. Uh, innovation and entrepreneurship is an important issue. And to give an overview, it's very common to use the business model canvas. The business model canvas has a lot of central activities telling you how things connect and what are the key most important parts of uh, the business or the entrepreneurship process that you are going to do. The first part is the value. What are you going to do uh, and how does this ensure that you are meeting a market? So the customer segment is important, the customer relation, how you meet the customers, what channels you are using, and of course also how do you create value from the customers. The customer segments defines the group of people or organization to serve. Who are going to pay for your product? It can be innovation or it can be uh, uh, establishing our company, but in any house someone is going to pay. And in order to know who is going to pay, we also need what are they paying for? What kind of value do we deliver to the customer? And what customer needs are we actually satisfying? And when we need, meet the needs, we also need to know how we move the product or the service to the customer. What kind of channel are we using? Channel to market, ch marketing, channels to uh, have the logistic to distribute and deliver the product and value to the customer. All of these is of course relationship. How do we meet? Is this people we know or is it companies we know? Or how do we actually treat what's going on? And out of the value proposition and the customer, there should be money coming in. We need money because we will have cost. Even if we have a non-profit organization, there is cost to be covered. And we need to know how we can get money and how we can get money early enough to cover the cost. Revenue streams is of course the way to think about the how and from whom we are getting what kind of money. Is it one time or is it recurring revenues where people are paying several times? How is the next issue? How is an important part? What do we deliver? What are our partners? What are our activities? and what kind of resources are we utilizing in order to be able to do it. Key resources will be what we call assets. It might be a building, it might be the financial background, it might be knowledge or intellectual, or it might be that we have the right people to work. But we need to list what kind of resources are we utilizing to be able to deliver uh, what the customer wants. And Delivering what the customer wants means that we have to design, develop, build, deliver, and make sure that the com products that we make or, or handle are giving at, according to expectation to the customers. To do this, we normally don't work alone. We need to have partners. Very often we call it a supply chain, but it can be many type of partners or cooperations that we are actually being part of. But a network of friends is the way to do and develop things. But activities, people, buildings, whatever, all of that needs money. And we will have a cost structure. And when we are making the budget later on, we need to figure out how does do we operate and what kind of cost will actually tell us how we are doing things. 
it can be a cost-driven business model or it can be a value-driven business model, but in both cases we need to make sure that we know what kind of cost we have and when it will occur. All of this can be coming into a lot of different business models. So we can put the pieces of the business model canvas together in many different ways. This list is the Wikipedia list of business models. There is a huge number, at least somewhere between 50 and 100 are listed on uh, different um, websites and 